Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with another terrific disc from the Boston Modern Orchestra Project under its leader, Gil Rose. It's their Hovannis CD. You get, let's see, Symphony Number no. 1, subtitled Exile, which is Opus 17, Number 2. Um, and then Three Armenian Rhapsodies and The Song of the Sea, which is really quite beautiful featuring John McDonald on the piano. That's two movements. And the concerto for soprano, saxophone, and strings, opus 344, in case you were counting. That man could just churn him out. And it all sort of sounds the same, kind of, sort of. But if you like it, you like one, you're going to like them all. So what do we got here? Let's start with the symphony, which is actually last on the disc. This symphony is infuriating. I like it. I like it, but you feel guilty for liking it because it's so simplistic. I mean, it's it, it, the first movement consists of a pizzicato motive for harp and strings, and then it, you know, with sort of woodwind arabesques that sound vaguely Asian Oriental, and then you've got sort of brass fanfares underpinned by timpani rolls. And these things alternate, and that's the movement, and then it stops. Then you've got a, a three-minute-long little central movement, um, which also features, like, pizzicato strings and woodwind arabesques. And then you've got a finale, and finally in the finale, you get some, like, counterpoint, almost a fugato-type thing. Thank God, you're just screaming for counterpoint at one point or another. And it's, it's lovely. I mean, if you like Mysterious Mountain, you're going to like this, too. It's really, really, really lovely, but it just, you, it sounds like a third grader wrote it in some ways. You know, there's just so, there's an innocence to it that's almost embarrassing. Um, it really is. It's, it's, it's extraordinary stuff, and you have to either accept it or move on to something else. I, I remember, I remember quite vividly Bernstein, who called the first symphony ghetto music. He was thought it was appalling. And, you know, I can understand where he was coming from. <laughs> anyway, the Armenian Rhapsodies are like, you know, Liszt's Hungarian Rhapsodies or Slavonic Rhapsodies, except they're shorter. They're between five and eight minutes, and they're just good exotic tunes um, arranged very, very prettily. Um, and like I said, the Song of the Sea is two movements for piano and instruments, and the concerto for saxophone is kind of fun. There aren't that many really good saxophone concertos out there. This one, this is a good concerto. It really is. It was written in 1980, actually. So, uh, you know, the playing is marvelous. It almost always is on these. The sound is really good, as it always is on these. And like I said, you've got the modern, the bo the modern, the modern, the Boston Modern Orchestra Project under Gil Rose. However, and they're a label, BMOP, B-M-O-P. Um, there is another recording of the First Symphony. Here it is with... The Seattle Symphony under Gerard Schwartz. This is also, this is a wonderful record. Um, and I, I want to talk about both of them because while we're talking about the first symphony, we might as well cover them. Now, originally, this was released on Delos with other couplings, but now it's been sort of re re, re gujied here. Um, it's a faster performance of Symphony Number no. 1 by a couple minutes, which I think is probably a good idea. You know, string players must hate playing this stuff. I mean, because you're playing like pizzicato, just it's almost minimalist. You know, just blum 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 for like eight minutes. It's 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 cruel. It really is. But this is a zippier one, which is nice, and you get the fantasy on Japanese woodprints, which is a glorious piece of music, one of Hovannis's most fascinating creations. I think he's wonderful when he's not doing symphonies. By the way, I mean, there's all kinds of other stuff. Concertos for orchestras. There's Fry Angelico we talked about, the tone poem. It's magnificent. And then the Symphony Number no. 50. I mean, there's like 60-some-odd. I think 68 or something like that. Mount St. Helens. Ooh, baby. And the last movement is the volcano. It erupts. It has a very splashy tam-tam part. And it's exciting. So, you know, it's your pick. The symphony is actually you know, only 20 minutes or so of each of these well-filled discs. So you could probably get both if you wanted them. But um, I did want to start out with, with this one because it was sort of newer. 
but they're they're both beautiful. And if you like Hovannis, then by all means, collect them and trade them like baseball cards. You know, you got a lot of fun with them. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me and take care.